we're going to tackle two questions that talk about the row space. So for the first one, we're given an m by n matrix A, and we just want to identify where the subspaces are. Are they in Rm or Rn? Now the reason I ask this is because this is a question that usually it's really simple to answer, but in an exam situation you might panic and get it wrong. So uh, m by n matrix. So the row space of A. So the row space is kind of difficult to remember sometimes, and a way you can do this is remember that this is also just the same thing as the column space of a transpose. So if you remember that the column space is M, or subspace of Rm, then the column space of the transpose is going to be in Rn. Okay, so if the column of the transpose is in Rn, then just the column space is going to be in Rm. And similarly, we know that the null space, if the column space is Rm, then the null space is going to be Rn. So the row space is going to be a subspace of Rn, and so is the null space. The column space is going to be a subspace of Rm. So again, these are just the definitions. Um, a little trick to remembering if you're really bad with remembering definitions or somehow can't uh, put the pieces together of what exactly is going on here. So just a nice little question, a sort of test theory. Okay, second question, a little more computational. We have a vector u equal to 1, 2, and we want to find a vector v such that u times v transpose is equal to the matrix 1, 2, negative 3, negative 6, and 4, 8. So we have a 2 by 3 matrix, and we have a one, sorry, this is a two by one matrix U, which means that whatever we multiply it by, which is V transpose, is going to have to be one by three. So we have one, two, multiplied by a one by three matrix, so we can call this say X, Y, and Z, and this is going to be equal to the two by three, one, three, or one negative three, four, two negative six, eight. So the easiest way to do this is to just remember that the first column of vector here, 1, 2, is just going to be x multiplied by the vector 1, 2. The second column of vector, negative 3, negative 6, is just going to be y multiplied by the vector 1, 2. And similarly, the third column of vector for 8 in our matrix is just going to be z multiplied by the vector 1, 2. So with this, we can see, well, x, uh, 1, 2 times what is equal to 1, 2? Well, that's 1, so x will be 1. y, well, 1 times negative 3 is negative 3, 2 times negative 3 is 6, so y will be negative 3, and z is going to be 4. So here we have our v transpose is equal to the row vector 1, negative 3, 4. Now this question is great because it's super easy to lose half a mark here because you realize that you just solved for v transpose and it's asking for the vector v. So to get the vector v, we just take the transpose and we're left with 1, negative 3, and 4. So there's a really easy way to lose half a mark or maybe a full mark on an exam. Okay, so hopefully uh, these questions weren't difficult at all, but again, they don't have to be hard. On exams, not all the questions will be hard. Some of them will be really simple, and it's really easy to think that you have to do something more challenging or complicated when really the answer is fairly obvious. So that's why this question is good, because you may think there's some complicated multiplication going on, but uh, if you remember the tricks from earlier in the course, uh, multiplying like this is actually very, very straightforward. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and I'll answer them the best that I can.